Good afternoon and welcome to Sub 10's Summer University and the launch of the new V100 platform. I'd like to introduce to you Malcolm Sellers. He is the V100 product manager responsible for technical product specifications, radio propagation modeling, and network planning. Today, Malcolm's going to talk to you about the V100 operation and feature set. If you have questions during the webinar, please use the questions text box window in the control panel. Over to you, Malcolm. Thank you very much, John. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Sub 10 web webinar on V100. We're very pleased that you could join us uh, to hear about our exciting new product. So first, um, I'll show our existing product lineup and where the new V100 sits. Then we'll talk about target markets and why V100 is the perfect fit. Then we'll look at new product launches for 2013. We'll discuss the technical features of V100 in more detail. We'll explain to you how you can order your new V100 links and what comes in a link box. And then we'll have a very quick look at planning of V100 links and the tools from Sub 10 that can help you to do this. And we close with a summary of why we're so excited about our new baby. So firstly, here we have um, our 60 gigahertz and 80 gigahertz product ranges. And you can see uh, the new Liberator V100 slotting in in the 60 gigahertz range. So that's in the short range P2P links which are in the 60 gigahertz band. We have existing Liberator V100 ER uh, which gives about 144 megabit per second. We have the Liberator V320 which is very well known up to 320 megabit per second and the Liberator V1000 up to a gigabit and the Liberator V100 slots into this uh, lineup and brings a number of new features and a very compelling price point which we'll tell you more about. Then we also have our long range P2P range which consists of the Liberator E1000 and that's in the 80 gigahertz band giving just over a gigabit per second full duplex. So now if we look at the target markets, V100 is positioned as a solution for small cell backhaul and this is a, a really important emerging market uh, for LTE small cell rollouts. Uh, V100 is also good for building to building connections, uh, for example for banks and businesses to connect uh, offices together. It's useful for lease line replacements. Uh, also for replacing wireless LAN point-to-point -point bridges uh, with much lower interference, uh, replacing 24 gigahertz and 38 gigahertz microwave links on the shorter hops. Uh, it's useful for wireless ISP backhauling and DSLAM backhauling. So those are the target markets that V100 is positioned for. So as our partners and customers all know, we have many Liberator links deployed all over the world and this slide shows some photographs of just a few of them and you can see that many of them are deployed uh, co-located on a single pole or single uh, um, unit and very often in dense metropolitan areas and, and that's the strength of our 60 gigahertz radios. So the market requirements today, um, our customers love the V320, it's got a winning formula of being the smallest millimeter wave backhaul radio, it's very simple to install and configure and it has high quality and very reliable operation. However customers are facing a number of challenges uh, today, firstly carrier features are required such as synchronous Ethernet. It's very important for applications such as the LTE metro cells. And also backhaul is becoming a major part of the network cost. 
and this can be as high as 30% of total network cost and therefore it's very important to try and get this cost down. And these are the challenges that our customers are facing today. This slide shows an example of a small cell backhaul deployment. Um, an LTE uh, small cell rollout will probably um, have small cells mounted on lamp posts or on buildings and in many cases fiber may not be available for the backhaul and so the V100 is positioned as being very suitable for providing the backhaul for these small cells. Now the requirements for small cell backhaul are typically up to 100 megabit per second full duplex. Synchronous Ethernet and 1588 support is required. The backhaul units need to be very compact, unobtrusive and lightweight. And very importantly, the price point must be such that small cells have a, an attractive business case. So we are launching new platform in 2013 to try and address these market needs. So Sub10 are launching the V100 on a new platform and the V1000. Um, today we are presenting to you the Liberator V100. So the headline features of the Liberator V100 it operates in the 57 to 64 gigahertz license exempt band. It gives 100 megabit per second full duplex throughput. It has the same small form factor as the V320. It will have synchronous Ethernet and 1588 support. AES encryption activated by a license key. One big advantage of the platform is that it's fully flexible and programmable. So unlike an ASIC solution, um, the new platform from Sub10 is much more like a software-defined radio, and so it can be reprogrammed with additional new features in the future. And most importantly, it comes at a very compelling price point, and we'll tell you more about these in a minute. So here are the specifications in more detail. Um, the range with QPSK is up to about one kilometer. The transmit power is about eight dBm and sensitivity minus 70 dBm with a channel width of 100 megahertz, so it's spectrally efficient. Uh, it will have adaptive coding modulation and ATPC. Ethernet frame size for V100 is from 64 bytes up to 2048 bytes and the latency is under 400 microseconds for single trip. It will support SYNC-E and 1588, VLANs for management, 8 queues for QoS. The network management will be via SNMP and also a web-based GUI. AES encryption will be activated by a license key. And finally, the power supply is PoE++. So the unique selling proposition for Liberator V100, it has a very small form factor, which is perfect for urban deployments. The antenna has very low side lobes and a high front to back ratio. So this minimizes interference and allows dense co-location of radios. We have a patent pending design on synchronous Ethernet, uh, which has features of being able to stay locked well below the sensitivity threshold of the data link itself. So, for example, if there is a heavy rain fade such that it even takes out the data link, the synchronous Ethernet will still stay locked um, well below that threshold. And this is very important for maintaining synchronization throughout the network. In the event of a complete power outage, the sync -E solution will snap back very quickly into lock within 10 seconds after power coming back. So this gets you back online very quickly. V100 also has a feature of dual bank firmware, which means that there are two software images in memory at the same time, and the user or administrator can select 
which of the uh, software banks is active. This allows you to do uh, live upgrades and switch over very rapidly without a full system reboot. If uh, a firmware upgrade should become corrupt during the upload process, the dual bank means that you can roll back uh, to a working version without completely taking down the link. Uh, V100 has a very fast restart time of less than 10 seconds from first power on to full data transmission and we believe that this will be a very useful feature um, certainly for coming back from power outages. And finally, the flexible programmable platform means that V100 is future-proof. It protects your investment and allows you free upgrades on future features. So now, um, ordering your new V100 links. In the link box, it comes as a complete link with everything you need in the box. Uh, you get a pair of V100 ODUs. You get a pair of alignment brackets, a pair of PoE++ power supplies, a pair of ice shields, a pair of mask brackets, and a pair of RJ45 seal kits. And power supplies are also included in the box. You just need to specify which power leads you need. So we are taking orders today for the V100. Uh, you simply decide which region uh, mains leads you require and then order one of those three part numbers. All the parts you need should be in the box but there are accessories available to order if required. There, you can order spare PoE injectors. Um, it's very recommended that you do order an alignment scope to help you align the links and also it's highly recommended that you purchase lightning protection kits and you need two kits per link. There is also a new wall mount plate to allow you to mount the alignment bracket directly onto a flat wall surface. So planning of the V100 link is very important. The range depends on your geographic location, for example due to uh, different rainfall. In general, it won't be more than about one kilometer in range, but you should always use the sub-10 link calculator to check this. The graph here shows three curves. It shows percentage availability of a link for a given range. The curve in green is for Manila in the Philippines, which has an extremely high rainfall of 95 millimeters per hour. The blue curve is for London, and the red curve, curve is for Dubai. So we can see then that in Manila for 99.99% availability the maximum link length will be about 670 meters. For the same availability in London you could achieve a range of about 900 meters and in Dubai a range of about one kilometer. So it is very important uh, to, to check this when planning. This slide shows you a, a screenshot from the Sub-10 link calculator. This is a free download from the Sub-10 website if you look in the support and download section. You simply type in the latitude and longitude and length of your link and you should always select slant polarization uh, for the V100. And near the bottom of the screen you will see the percentage availability for the particular product and V100 is listed there. Another part of planning is to uh, look at the whole network and establish whether uh, there is any interference at all, any self-interference from your own network. This is only required for very dense networks. Uh, for example, for small cell backhaul networks. Sub-10 does have an in-house planning tool to help you with this. If you do need help, uh, please contact Sub-10 support and we can assist you with the network planning. So V100 in a nutshell. Um, 
The V100 is the debut on the new platform from Sub10 Systems. It keeps the same winning formula of small form factor, easy installation and high quality that customers enjoy with the V320. V100 brings new carrier features such as synchronous Ethernet and AES encryption. V100 has a flexible programmable platform. This protects your investment because uh, it allows free feature upgrades. And very importantly, V100 has a much lower cost base than previous platforms. This allows us to offer very compelling prices to our partners and customers. So please contact your nearest your distributor or the Sub10 sales rep, or send us an email to info at sub10systems.com. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye. Thanks, Malcolm. Much appreciated. Um, for more information, please also visit our website, www.sub10systems.com, uh, and there is also more information on our support site, which is support.sub10systems.com. You can also find out more about us uh, on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you have any other questions regarding support, please contact us on support at sub10systems.com. That concludes our webinar for this afternoon. Thank you very much for attending.